Love to watch the way you made me into a mess Hands on my dress Neon red You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger Hey, my friends, how are you doing? I hope everything is well with you guys. Welcome back to another Clean With Me video. This is a three day laundry clean and folding get it done with me video and a Grove haul as well. I just showed you the huge mountain of clothes that we have. It definitely gets piled up quick if I do not keep up with it. And now <laughs> I'm doing extreme laundry, but I know sometimes it happens to everybody. So if you need the motivation, here it is for you right now. We will do it together, or you can just kick back and watch me do it. Either way, let's have a good time and get it done. So right now I'm putting in the first loads of laundry and from there I am going to go through all of this mountain of clothes and organize. Right now I'm putting the Echoes, I believe is how you pronunciate it. This is my favorite laundry detergent. I absolutely love it. I can only find it unscented in the store though, so I do order it from Amazon. It is the lavender scent and it smells like a spa. It is amazing. And now that that first load has ran through, I have something now to put in the dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there. And the items that I don't want to be dried because I don't really um, want them to be faded or shrunk or anything like that, I will place them outside on my deck outside of my bedroom. I found someone who makes me want to know a thing about love But oh my god, I'm seeing stars with you Tend to keep myself from diving in I definitely never dry my clothes on high. It's either medium or low because it really will ruin the clothes if your dryer gets very hot and ours does. So I definitely stay away from the hot. Now I'm going to separate all of the clothes and the towels and blankets, etc. But I'm doing brights, lights, whites, blacks, white towels, colored towels, blankets, and then tablecloths. going in now with my favorite laundry detergent that lavender ecos guys you've got to give it a try let me know what you think if you do i really love it i would love to hear what you all think as well now i am laying out my laundry on my deck outside of my bedroom i absolutely love it out here it is so cozy i haven't put any patio chairs out here yet because i want to screen in the top i do have little ones and it, it kind of makes me really nervous um, so i want to get that very safe and then i'll go ahead and put chairs 
but look at the view guys the sun was setting i had to show you it was so so beautiful i love tennessee sunsets there's the clothes and now i'm gonna go ahead go back in show you what has gotten done so far there are all the colored towels the white towels and then of course everything you see okay so I have Grove here and it actually was late because we had that winter storm and I had to call them. It had gotten sent back, I guess, because they couldn't drive up our road. Um, but anyways, they sent it. Um, there was one thing that was out of stock, which was the um, Method shower spray. But yeah, so it says here you are doing an awesome job, Miranda, with a smiley face. I was so excited about that. I thought it was really nice of them. But now I'm gonna show you what's in it. Look at that. I love it. It has a beautiful yellow sleeve to put around it. Oh my gosh, and stars. I'm happy with this. Oh, look at that. It's, it shows on the side if you can see it. Don't mind my nails either. I was going to fix them up today and didn't get the time to do it, so I'll definitely be doing that tomorrow. But it's, it shows like here up to the soap and then to the water you just add the water so it actually has the line there that is so cute oh my gosh i'm so excited to put oh it's nice it's a foam foam soap so that is awesome okay now this is the hand soap bottle i already have a few of these upstairs like i said and downstairs but i needed another one and uh-oh, this one doesn't have a sleeve. That is not okay. I'm gonna have to check into that. I may have made a mistake with the order, but this is not what I was looking for. I was looking for one that's like this. Um, it has a sleeve on the bottom, which I want them all to match. I mean, you know, if I'm paying for it, I want it to be the way I want it to be. So anyway, I'm gonna set that aside. I have the multi-surface cleaner. This one smells so, so good. It is the lavender scent. It is my favorite. I love it. I always try out the ones um, during the holidays, but this is always my go-to. It's definitely my fave. Antibacterial uh, toilet bowl cleaner. I love this stuff. You know, it uh, cleans and disinfects. It's spearmint. It literally smells just like the spearmint gum, but it is chemical free. So. It's good, and you can breathe. Like if you put those, um, call that bleach and stuff, it's at the end of the day, you'll have to forgive me. But yeah, if you put the bleach and all that, it's like really hard to breathe. It just burns your lungs. Okay, so I have the dish soap refill, and that is for this one right here. I'm so excited. I'm gonna smell it. I had gotten lavender and thyme, so I'm super stoked. See how it is. Oh my gosh, all of their stuff smells like a spa. It's amazing. I have to smell it again because it smells so, so good. Wow. Okay, what other one did I get? Oh, another lavender and thyme. Oh, this is the hand soap. And another lavender and thyme, again, hand soap. Okay, so I definitely needed to refill the hand soaps. This wrinkle release spray is amazing guys this is lavender and rosemary i actually tried to find everything in lavender and rosemary because this smells like the most i i mean prestige spa you could ever walk into it smells so so good i spray it all the time to get wrinkles out of everything it really works i love this the dish soap of course i have that lavender that same lavender scent my favorite now there's a, oh, I can still smell it. There's a uh, top on it. I wish you guys could smell this. I'm telling you, it smells so, so good. The link uh, for Grove Collaborative is uh, in the description box below. So if this is something you're interested in these chemical free cleaning products, um, click on that and you can get a free gift whenever you click on uh, the link that I have posted in the description box below. So I have the bathroom cleaner and spearmint. This is a good one. I use it a lot. And this broke. I'm so bummed. Not cool. Anyway, um, 
there's some dust in here because of that, but what can you do? This has never happened before. I really think it's because um, I, oh, there's the sleeve. Ah, I don't have to do anything about that. I'm happy. Who cares about a tiny little bit of dust that came out of the crack of the bottom of, of this bottom me here, okay? I don't even care. It's the tiniest little crack. The fact that I have my sleeve, I'm good, okay? And this isn't a common thing. I've gotten grow for a long time. Like this is, this never happens. So don't not get it for that. This came free. So after you get so many Grove products, which doesn't even have to be that many, they send you free products. So far I have gotten um, a hand sanitizer. I have gotten the lip balm, which was awesome for the winter. It was a really good one. And this one is called Rose Petal Hydrating Hand Cream. So I'm super excited. I have to wash my hands because I got some of that powder on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Um, they gave me a choice this time between this and something else, I can't remember. But I was like, rose petals? That smells so spring-like. Oh man, it is good. Oh yeah. Oh yes, wow. It says, with notes of rose, grapefruit, and pink peppercorn. This is actually something I'll repurchase later on. They send you, you know, free items, and this is a big one too, a big tube. But, um, you know, and if you love it, you can purchase it later on. This is definitely something I'll be getting continuously. And I needed a new uh, scrubber. One, it is disgusting. But anyways, the, it goes inside this thing. Oh my gosh. Guys, seriously, this is this is kids for you have to see this. I'm going to tilt this down. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh my gosh, I just spilt it. Anyways, it's worth showing you. There are two eyeballs in my grove dispenser. How funny is that? And it's like set on there like like you know, like an actual face one on each side. They're like perfectly symmetrical. That is so funny, my kids. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I would not have noticed that until like later on I put some soap because you put soap in here and water and then every time you push it down um, with this thing here and it makes suds and then you just wash the dishes like that. It's nice, fancy, fun way to do things. But that is just too cute. Okay. I'm going to start now with these pink boxes that already have folded laundry in them. These go into my two younger daughters, my toddler's bedroom. They do share a room right now because it's very close to ours and they share a closet. So I have four of these boxes and I put pants and tops in them. And then of course they have things on their shelves as well. But when I dig through them, they get a little bit or unorganized. So I figured I would go through them while I'm at it and folding laundry since it's kind of in the same category of things. I love these little pink boxes because they have a clear square in the front and you can actually see what you're reaching for. I will put these in the description box below. They are from Amazon if you're interested I love them they help to organize everything and keep it nice and tidy so you don't have like tall stacked shelves of things that topple over so it's very good for that but I'm also going through it to see what they're not fitting in they are at two ages where they are growing very fast they're going through growth spurts and half of this stuff they don't fit. So I'm gonna go through that, reorganize it, and then dig into that laundry that is right behind me. There's no second guessing, I can be myself. The first load of laundry that I'm folding here are the colors, and I'm going to sort them now by whose there are, which ones, Madar and Noah, and I'm going to hang up the dresses. I never fold the dresses and put them on the shelves. Those are definitely one of the things I always hang. I also always hang sweaters or their dressy going out outfits as well. So I'm just doing the organization here and kind of folding and putting it where it belongs. So I don't think that these um, laundry baskets are the cutest. In fact, every time I use them, I think like, oh my gosh, I need new laundry baskets. But the good thing about them is that when there's nothing in them, which is kind of rare in a family of five, but when the laundry is 100% done, you can actually fold them up 
and they just lay flat literally like you can just put them in between the washer and dryer that's where i store mine and then you don't have any hampers in the laundry room which is also very nice because it keeps it very clean and very tidy this is the second load of laundry here this is all of the darks i see a lot of the items in here are my oldest daughter who is 12 and my husband and myself as well I am so curious what you all are using for your darks. Whatever you use that you feel works and does not fade your clothes, please let me know. I just looked it up after I did all the laundry and really I should have looked it up a long time ago because I am so tired of putting my leggings on and they look faded. I can't stand that. I like them to be like super dark and new. And as you see, I just folded a pair of leggings. I usually hang them outside like you had seen earlier, but... I accidentally threw a pair in there, which bums me out because I know they're not going to look new anymore, which drives me crazy. So let me know what you all are using so that I can try it out and see how it works for us. Talking a lot and we both are running weak, trying to keep this off. I'm downstairs in the living room right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of the clothes that I have folded up into the laundry basket. That way I can carry it back upstairs to put them away. I did not film putting them away because it is so much that I figured, you know, if you're interested in how I organize and um, set my clothes up, I already have one video on that for the closet, but I would make a separate video for sure because even just all the laundry is a whole long video for you guys. So if you want to see something like that, I'll definitely make one for you, but it would be a separate video for sure. Now I'm getting out the third, I believe I lost track, but there were so many loads of laundry as you've seen from the beginning there was like a mountain full of clothes but I'm pulling all of these out and I'm going to put everything from the washer into the dryer guys this is day two because that night you had seen I stayed up really really late and so now I'm just in my robe trying to get it done quick and get as much done today as I can with everything else going on So I go back and forth between the ivory laundry detergent that you had just seen and also Ecos. It's E-C-O-S. You can find it usually on the very top shelf when you are um, in the laundry detergent section. They do not put it in the middle or down at the bottom where it's easy to find, but it is amazing. I love the Ecos. I love the ivory too. It is an oldie but a goodie, uh, but those hypoallergenic, we definitely need that because everyone in the family except for my husband is very sensitive to detergents. So I do get the scented one um, for the Ecos, but you do have to order it on Amazon. They do not sell the scented in the store, at least here I have never found it. I am taking the laundry that I don't like dried and putting it out onto the patio. The things I usually put out here are the things with fleece because fleece gets balled up and it's never as comfortable. And I like it to feel like when I first got it and it's super, super soft inside. So anything with fleece I put out there anything that's delicate I put out there and I tried to put all of the darks that will fade out there
I'm gonna explain how I fold my laundry because until I started folding my laundry the way I do now, everything always looked so messy and it was so hard to keep it looking tidy and organized. So what I do now that's different is I lay the item on its face or the front, I guess you would say, and I put one sleeve back, you can start either or, doesn't matter, and then lay the other sleeve on top of that onto the back and then fold the item in half or fold it in threes. And let me tell you, it looks so beautiful whenever you put the clothes on the shelves in the closet or you put them in your drawers. They're so nicely organized and clean looking. It's just really, really nice to be able to open your drawer, walk in your closet, and it looks good like that. In fact, I'm going to post a video up above of how I fold that in detail so you can actually see up close. It is when I did a master bedroom closet clean out. Um, so yes, definitely it was one of my first videos, but it is a descriptive way of folding the laundry if you are interested in that. Here is the Ecos um, that I had told you about that is so awesome and I love so much. It is my main go-to for laundry detergents. It's hypoallergenic and this lavender scent smells amazing. But the only place that I can find it is Amazon. I will post it in the link below if you're interested and want to get the lavender. I love it. I always brag about it. Anytime someone comes over, I always have them smell that laundry detergent. It just reminds me of like the Grove products. I don't know if you have tried the Grove yet. If you haven't, you definitely are missing out and need to they smell like a spa but the uh, ecos lavender also smells like that as well <laughs> So in the storm I will have peace So come the storm I'll still believe I saved the jeans for last because they are the easiest to fold. So this was the last of it way late at night. Guys, thank you so much for joining me and watching the video today. I hope you gained some laundry folding and cleaning motivation and that you got yours done or just kick back and watch me do mine and relaxed. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Please, if you have not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It just lets you know whenever I have a new video out. I will see you in the next video video.